Welcome back to another episode of Crypto Miner Tips. In today's tip, uh, I got something special for you guys. I'm going to show you guys how to find new coins to mine. Uh, before we get in, though, I wanted to mention one of my subscribers. I think he's a subscriber. This farmer can't be here. Um, he was uh, mentioning that you know he wanted me to fix my microphone, so I kind of wanted to point that out that we got a microphone finally. Because uh, over here at Crypto Miner Tips, we do uh, listen to our subscribers, and so uh, you know, Farmer Campy, if you're out there listening, uh, this this mic right here is for you, buddy. So, um, so I wanted to get right into it and show you guys how to find new coins to mine. Um, so, if, if you just type in to Google how to find new coins to mine, you'll actually see them at article. It's right there at the top. So. I'll actually probably have a le link down in the description for this, but uh, this is the full article here. And so, um, you know, the biggest thing is is that there's pretty much five resources that you could use to uh, find new coins to mine. Um, and so, uh, there's a few of them that I really like, and a couple of them I don't like so much, but you can still kind of use it. And so, um, the biggest thing though is is that the reason why you might want to do this is is because you know sometimes you just want to be able to get um, get in on a coin early uh, maybe you want to get to it before it hits the exchange uh, and so this is the only you know if it's a mineable coin this is going to be the only way that you can do it and so you know with the way the ASIC miners are kind of taking over a lot of these other coins uh, you know I think myself and a, a lot of other miners included we're searching for these new coins just to mine you know as many of them as we can while the difficulty is low and then just hang on to them and then you know maybe sell them off as they hit the exchange if they're worth anything so uh, this is really going to pertain to people that are into spec mining so um, you know if you're if you know if you're looking for a new coin to mine this is going to be the be in my opinion this is the best way that I've found now if you find a better way please drop a comment in the description and let us know but um, one of the first things you can do is actually go to the Bitcoin and uh, Bitcoin talk and and these would be the announcements and you can kind of what you can do here is you can kind of sift through and look for uh, you know these little signs right here like where it says POW um, let me see if I can find one so that, let's just go with this one where's it at let's go with I don't want to spend too much time on this let's see if this one so you know you can kind of go in here check and see you know what algorithm it is um, you want to obviously look at the dates this one just got published on November 28th so it's a fairly new one um, looks like it you know has the same algorithm as grin and so you can kind of sift through here now the other thing is you're gonna want to do some research um, and we can get to that in a second but you know there's a way that you should research these coins and kind of you know there's definitely some red flag warnings that you can stay away from some coins that you just don't want to mine in general so that's one way that you can do it but again you know for me to have to sift through this list right here um you know to me that's just too time consuming i you know i don't got time for all that so that is one way that you can do it um the other way is you can go to coin market cap and just look at the whole list of all the mineable cryptocurrencies um and just kind of get an overall list of coins that you can kind of and then if you see one in there you haven't noticed before like you know we'll click on newton here you could research it you know this now this might be a good way too because you can actually see the trading volume and all this other stuff um you can check out their website check out their again check out their bitcoin talk announcement and you know kind of get some some background information on it this way so this is a way that you can do this um, block the website actually runs kind of slow new mall 2.0 okay so um, interesting so then you can kind of look at the you know look at its Bitcoin talk
see what it's all about see if you know the Bitcoin the Bitcoin talk is a good place to kind of find out whether um, if it's a scam or not because I'm telling you a lot of these people that hang out in the Bitcoin talk they've been in crypto for a while and so if there's anything wrong with this token they're gonna let that person they're gonna let the developer the whole team know right away they're gonna call it out so you know you can kind of hit control F and you can just type in the word scam see warning okay so there's only one mention of scam on this page so hmm, it could be legit but there's only a couple when did it launch this is in 2018 mm, it's only had three pages in the Bitcoin talk since October 11th of 2018 that might not be that's not a good sign usually you want to see more engagement than that you'd see you know maybe 30 40 50 60 pages out there so to me it's just not a good it's not a good sign so I want I would like something with a little bit more action um, the other option you could do and again this is right here in this article we could go to reddit gotta love the uh, gotta love the people of reddit right and so what I've done is I've created basically a, a search operator uh, to filter out these new coins and stuff like that and so new algo for POW uh, And so we can kind of get a good list this way. Let's see here if we can find. Yeah, it's pulling up my article right there, so that's probably not going to be. Let's just see if we can find one. So you could just check it out on Reddit, see what people of Reddit say about it. Fantastic work, truly amazing. So, so then what you'd want to do is just take this coin, whatever the name of it is, Ryo, RYO. I think I've heard a lot about that coin, RYO. I think Savage Miner actually, he mentions this a lot on Twitter. Okay, so that's, yeah. It's uh, it's, you know, that's you can get some good information from there. Um, the other thing I was going to mention too, if you do not have, um, if you don't have time to do this, which, you know, another good source to use uh, that I use for a long time is Pickaxe Mining Pool. Now, if you guys have never been over the Pickaxe Mining Pool, these guys probably got the best support out of all the people I've seen yet. And this is the wrong link for it, so. I'm, somebody must have changed the link out. Let me see here. I'll have to fix that later, so let me see here. Let me see if I can find it. See if I can find. It. Sorry if it's taking too long, but Pickaxe Pro. That's yeah, for whatever reason. Something must be going on with their site because it keeps on redirecting to uh, Coin Telegraph. So, um, so I, that used to be. I'll have to check with their Discord because it's been a while since I mined with them. But um, it's a really good mining pool. And they, you know, they do a lot of the research for you, so they're gonna be able to, you know, they're not always exact. Like I said, don't take it as investment advice, but you could use their pool to kind of find out what what are the newer coins that would be good to mine. So um, the other thing that you could do is, you know, in this article here, like I said, I got a sample of these uh, these Google alerts, and so what you could do is just copy see here highlight it like that right click on it hit search Google and again this will pull up a lot of these coins right here and this is this mostly pertains to reddit um, and so like I said reddit's got a lot of great information about cryptocurrencies out there but if I had one that I really really like um, 
it's Bitcoin talk. Cause honestly, if a new coin's gonna launch, um, it's gonna be on Bitcoin talk. Any kind of legit coin, I don't care what people say about Bitcoin talk. Um, if a coin doesn't have a Bitcoin and on Bitcoin talk, uh, it's probably not gonna be a good coin to mine at all. Um, so this right here, the search operator that I created for you here in this article, um, this will pertain to, you know, strictly Bitcoin talk. So Z miner, let's see here, let's go to tools. So then what you want to do is, you know, you can put in a custom range, see, you know, which ones just came out three days ago. What's this one right here? See, project is dead. So that's probably not a good. It's probably not a good coin to mine at that point. Yeah, usually when it switches hands like that, that's not a not a good sign. Let's go back out. Let's try and change this to instead of just past month, let's do a custom range on this. Let's go from August 1st to what's today's date? 29th. Let's, you know, do the last three months. Libra Gold. Again, you know, just because you find a new coin, you're still going to want to do some research, and I'll talk more about that in a second here. This one right here I heard about the other day. Um, it's, it's a stable coin. So then you can actually, you know, do some more research. Check out its, you know. There's a couple things you're going to want to do, and even then, it's, you know, this isn't an exact science, but, you know, you can hit control F, type in the word scam. Sorry about that. Doesn't look like anybody's mentioned scam just yet. When did this launch? It launched on October 13th. It only has four pages. Again, you know, we're still kind of in a bear market, so there's not gonna be a lot of engagement, but there still should be a fair, um, see, it's, it's, it is very pleasant, such promising projects appear. I'm studying peg information now. Looks interesting. Going while it's being worked out. It's about two weeks out. It'll be announced when it's released. So they are releasing a GUI wallet, which is good. Um, some of these new coins coming out these days don't even have a GUI wallet when they launch and it doesn't really make it, in my opinion, doesn't make it a fair launch when you have everything compiled in Linux and the, the vast majority of the public can't mine it. So do you intend to compete with Bitcoin? So this, this might be a good coin to mine this pegnet right here. So um, anyways, back to this article though, real quick. So then the other thing you can do is if you want to, um, you could just go down to this link right here in my blog post, click on this. And, you know, get a good list right here. Make sure you click on tools. Let's do a custom range. Again, let's go back. Let's just go back a couple of months. You don't want nothing too old. It's a light bit, no pre mine. SHA 256 coin. Mm. Shark bites. Oop, I clicked on that. Let's see this. So you, what you're going to want to do is once you find some of these coins, you're going to want to look through and do a couple different things. You're going to want to look through their their Bitcoin talk, obviously, and just see what they're talking about. Um, this one here, I don't even see. Check out their website. 
you, know, you kind of want to do some research into this. You don't want to just mine any new coin just because it's a new coin and you can get a bunch of them. Uh, trust me, there's no shortage of new coins out there to mine, but there's going to be you know, some things that you're going to want to look for, like a website that actually loads. Let's see. You know, you're going to want to make sure it's got all the wallets, um, at least, you know, a, a Windows, a Mac, and a Linux. I would like to see all three of those wallets. Um, you know, you're going to want to check out their Twitter, make sure that they got some kind of social following. Um, you know, read through their Bitcoin talk, make sure that, you know, this launched on August 11th. So let's see, you know. Go to the last page. Yeah, nobody typed in the word scam, so that's good. So you know this might be a coin that you could put on a list, and you know it says CP, uh, CPU mineable coin. So then you know you can mine, you know, probably a pretty fair amount on just a laptop. Um, you know, obviously the the name of the game is to get these these coins while they're still young kind of like Bitcoin was and then mine up you know maybe a couple hundred of them to a, maybe a couple thousand of them and just store them in a wallet and hang on to them for a while and as that coin matures and hits the bigger exchanges then at that point maybe you have some profit okay so uh, the purpose of this isn't to you know mine and you know expect to earn profits right off day one um, it, the expectation with this is to be able to mine it and then hang on to it because there's no place you know you can't even some of these coins they're not even listed on a, a reputable exchange yet uh, they might be on a few dis, uh, decentralized exchanges but most of us don't like buying coins from from decentralized exchanges they're kind of clunky they're hard to use um, it's just you know not a good fit for most of us and so if we got some you know spare hash power laying around why not mine some of it so um, but yeah, you definitely want to research it. Also, too, uh, for re researching coins, I recommend actually that you buy this book. Um, I'm going to have a link down in uh, the description below to Amazon. Uh, this guy, uh, Nick Patel, I've actually talked to him quite a bit. He's, he's a really legit guy, and he's got this book called The Altcoin Trader's Handbook. And essentially, he's got a formula for researching these coins to make sure uh, you know, nothing's for 100% certain, but he's kind of got his own recipe that he's developed on how to research these coins and know whether it's going to have a future or not. Um, and so, you know, I think the book costs maybe 15 bucks, 17 bucks on Amazon. Uh, I highly recommend it. If you got 15 or 17 bucks, that's probably one of the best cryptocurrency books I've read hands down. And so, um, that's really it for that. Let me see here. I think I put one more in here. So there's, you know, if you wanted to look up just CPU mining coins, let's close out some of these windows real quick before I have a seizure. The website finally loaded. At the speed of light. I like it. So you're going to want to research, you know, look at its roadmap, read it, read the white paper, see if it's got a use case, uh, compare it to other coins that may be similar, uh, similar to it. Um, and, you know, go in their discord, see if, you know, check out their support team, uh, you know, see if you can get help. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that you can do to kind of see it's already got Windows and Linux. Um back to what I was originally saying there's a lot of things that you can do to you know kind of make sure that this coin's got some kind of future for it um, so you just want to make sure that you're just not mining any coin out there the other thing that you can kind of do here CPU mining past month Again, this pegnet keeps on popping up. I, you know, I've seen mentions of this pegnet on Twitter too, as well.
I'm not gonna do that right now but um, you know just like I said you know just research them learn how to you know if you if you don't if you don't get the book just learn how to research these coins because um, some of them a lot of them are just gonna be complete trash but there are gonna be some good ones out there uh, you know I don't know if you checked out my my older video uh, from back in September but there's a coin right here lithium that I mentioned uh, that you can laptop mine and, and it, essentially I found it from using this basically this method right here and so um, you know like I said you know just check it out like I said there'll be a link down in the description and you know use this blog post as a tool save it as a tool so that you can actually you know refer back to it from time to time and just come down here I would recommend click on this button right here and uh, use this to, to help you find new coins to mine uh, the other thing that you can do is you can actually if you get a, uh, a gmail account you can actually set up Google Alerts and so then what that'll do for you is it'll actually uh, email you every day every week however you want to set it up um, you know you can type in GPU mining create an alert ASIC mining create an alert and that way you kind of get notifications um, and you could set this up so it emails you every day every week like I said um, so that way you can kind of get you know an email of all this information about all these new uh, coins that are coming out uh, it doesn't work as good as just coming down here and pushing this button for some odd reason Google Alerts doesn't work like that um, but you know it kind of keeps you in tune with what's going on in the market so uh, that's really it the other you know the last thing that I wanted to mention is we did start a Facebook group which I have a link down in the description for that too as well um, you know we're looking to you know it's it's me and my buddy so we're looking to help some people out anybody that's new to mining um, and even if you're you know not new to mining you just want to come in the group and hang out this isn't something that we're trying to grow out and make it big or anything like that we're probably only gonna maybe let maybe three to five hundred people in right now I think we're at 25 um, just because it's not something I want to have to nurture and maintain all the time um, but yeah you know if you want there's be a link down in the description uh, sign up for our Facebook group and so that's really it I hope you enjoyed the day's tip and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video later <laughs>